everyone, I am your astrologer Wonder Girl taking you to new heights. Here's your daily forecast for the day of Monday, March 19th, 2018. Now before I get started, a few things. First of all, sorry I didn't give y'all a horoscope yesterday. This new moon was something crazy. I woke up feeling like a totally different person. <laughs> I don't know, that, that doesn't happen to me all the time. I think that happened also in like the Scorpio new moon last year um, where that happened, but this one was like super intense. I feel like, I mean, it was kind of in a square to like a bunch of my planets, but I just was feeling different. It wasn't like a bad thing. It wasn't a bad thing, um, but it was just kind of different. And I just wanted to make sure that I was in the right state of mind if I were to give you a horoscope. So that's why I kind of just held off on that. But here I am today, um, yeah, to give you one. So I hope you all are doing well. Sorry I also haven't been in the comments as much, at least on YouTube. I do want to, but for some reason lately, trying to think why would this be maybe it's all the Pisces stuff I've just been feeling like I need to just take a break <laughs> to not constantly be looking for the likes and the comments and to just chill out for a second to to get right with myself so that's why I haven't been in the comments but you all know I do like to respond and I hope to start to do that more later on I feel like I'm like so close I'm like this close to finally feeling like I've got my life in order and like I'm controlling my life and it's not controlling me, but I'm not quite there yet. <laughs> so we'll see about that. Hopefully I'll be feeling much better. Let me just fix my light. Hopefully I'll be feeling much better um, by the time we get to May where I really think things are gonna start to feel much more stable, <laughs> stabilize out a bit. So that's what's going on uh, with me, just to give you a little bit of an update. Also, of course, wanted to remind you by Mercury Retrograde webinar happening this week, this Thursday, March 22nd, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, because Mercury does go retrograde on Saturday. Um, so please, if you haven't signed up for that, please do. We're gonna talk about what that is all about, and of course, the most important days going on. I think, and you know, I've been telling you all for weeks now, our life has been changing in a major way to be someone new, to do some new things, to do some things that are different. And now that we are living this new life, now that finally Mars is at a Sagittarius, it's time for us to do things to a different set of rules. <laughs> do things according to our new life and not according to our old life, which no longer exists. We no longer are these people we thought we once were. All right, and really needing to adjust our perspective now to get on board with this new person we become and to do things differently. All right, so that's what we're gonna be talking about. If you're interested in that, sign up down below. All right, so that's what's going on. Hope, um, hope that, yeah. Hopefully that helps shed you some light on, on what I'm dealing with. Now for your horoscope, we've got um, the moon hanging out here in Aries. Of course, bringing our attention to doing things, making things happen, um, doing some things that are important to us, acting, um, doing all that, okay? Especially coming off of a new moon, good time to initiate plans or to prepare to act in a very big way, especially with the moon hanging out in Aries. We wanna start doing things. Now at the end of yesterday and into today, this moon that was in Aries was in a conjunction here with Venus and with Mercury. So that was bringing up yesterday a lot of thinking here and maybe conversations about ourselves, about who we are, about what we want, about what makes us comfortable in life, about what we love with Venus involved. Could also brought up some conversations and some thoughts about relationships and about money. I think we're just trying to figure out how we need to act to do things to feel more comfortable in our life, to work better with relationships in a way that works for us and to organize our finances better. All right, with the moon, Right after this Venus Mercury thing happened to making a trine to the North Node, I think it was very positive for us, whatever was going on at the end of yesterday. If we were taking the time to think about what we need to feel more comfortable about our relationships and about our money and what we can do to feel better about that, I think it was helping us where the North Node is to be happier, <laughs> to lead our life in the right direction, uh, to get more comfortable, to figure out what our heart needs. Uh, and to do some things to just feel better. So I think it was very, very positive what was going on at the end of yesterday and in today. Then once we get to today at 2 a.m. Mountain Time, the moon then comes off of this north node and Mercury and Venus and it makes a square over to Pluto in Capricorn. And I think what happened is that at the end of yesterday, 
we, I think, I like to think we're getting some insight about who we are and about what's important to us and about what we need to do to feel better and to feel happier in life. And I think after we did that thinking yesterday to get the insight, I think what we realized first thing this morning is that maybe we need to make some changes in our life in order to bring more of that happiness in, in order to bring more of that comfort in, in order to bring more of what we value into our life, whether that's financial, relationships, any other way uh, happening. And I think at 2 a.m. this morning, we start to realize, okay, now that I know better what I need to feel comfortable, now that I've worked some things out in my mind, what do I need to change in order to start to do the things that really can help me do what needs to be done, all right, at 2 a.m. in the morning. Then after that happens, the moon kind of just hangs out until 1 p.m. mountain time. So now we're talking in the afternoon. And at 1 p.m., the moon then moves further through Aries and comes into a conjunction with Uranus. So what that could bring, 1 p.m., unexpected things happening. <laughs> uh, unexpected things either that happen to you, about you, about your identity, or, or, um, or you yourself doing something unexpected in some way. Okay, what I think this is gonna bring personally um, is a big chance for you to get insights about your life and I wanna say to step into your freedom, to express yourself more authentically about what's been going on. I think we've had so many things happening the past few weeks and months that I've been hard, lots of changes in our life, feeling restricted, feeling like we wanna move forward but we can't move forward and things are difficult and I think what's going on now with all these planets moving into Aries is that we're finally starting to feel like, okay, slowly, gradually, I can start to make progress, I can start to do things instead of just think about them um, for the past few weeks and months and now I can finally start to feel better about them and I think as we're starting to do these things, we're trying to figure out here, okay, in what way do I need to do them in order to feel the most comfortable and how can I rearrange my life to start to feel better and better about where things are going um, instead of dealing with the same old problems time and time again that have been bringing you down and I think that's what we're doing today, okay, is now that we are moving forward, hopefully feeling more comfortable in adjusting our perspective to the future, now we're starting to live our new life more freely and starting to figure out how we can bring more of that comfort and bring more of that excitement in and what we need to change. And I think when we get to the moon conjunct Uranus coming in, we start to get more insights, more unexpected things happen to help us understand what we need to do now to, um, to catapult us into this new life and really begin to break the bonds with an old life, especially with the sun moving into Aries two days from now. I think we really are beginning to be catapulted into some new life, doing things differently where the past and going back to the past is no longer an option like we thought it was a few days ago all right and I think that this is what Uranus is doing all right could be a little bit hard with the conjunction coming in conjunctions can sometimes go either way but I like to think with the um with the Venus Mercury the trine a lot of things other a lot of other things going on I really like to think and want to think this will be very positive to help you break ties with the past and move forward and understand better what it is that you need to live a better life, all right? So that's what I see going on there. Then after that happens, at 9 p.m. mountain time, the moon, excuse me, 8 p.m. mountain time, the moon uh, enters Taurus. It leaves Aries and enters Taurus right here. Okay, and what that's gonna bring is after some crazy unexpected things, maybe have gone on some crazy insights about our life, to put our life in a better place, to feel better, to associate with the future, Moon and Taurus says, okay, now that things have been crazy, time to take it down a notch, time to make sense of it all, time to bring more stability into your life, time to get more confidence now that you're starting to move forward, time to be more dedicated and disciplined, all right, and not let everything go haywire with all of the excitement or with all of the unexpected things that are occurring okay and at 8 p.m. we begin to think more seriously about how we can find that stability and that security in our life that it is that we need to move forward in this new direction feeling more secure with it all 
Okay, so that happens there. Then at 9 p.m. Mountain Time, right after the moon enters Taurus, it comes into a square right here with Mars, which just entered Capricorn. And I think what that gives us at the nighttime coming very quickly is a chance for us to find that stability that it is that we want, find that security that it is that we need, that confidence, so that we can finally begin to make progress to put our life in a better place in a big way, to do what needs to be done here, to now start to build on something think that we've been working for for so long <laughs> and as to where it's been hard for us to feel like we can finally take all this new stuff and move forward on it the moon coming into Taurus while Mars moved in Capricorn is saying it's go time now it's go time like it's it's no more about experimenting whatever it's time for us to start to find more of that security in our life putting our life in some new direction that we've been working out for quite some time and it's time to actually do it and to move forward on it and to feel more stable and secure <laughs> <laughs> with what we've been working on. All right, um, so that's what's going on there. And then after that, tomorrow, 10 a.m. in the morning, the moon moves further through Taurus, comes into a trine with Saturn, I think also helping us to get more of that stability, more of that structure that it is that we need to play the long-term game and, and do what needs to be done to put our life in a better place, okay? So that's what's going on. I'm not gonna lie, I like the astrology. I think it's gonna keep getting better than it has been the past few months from here on out, for a little bit at least. Um, so, so I am I'm very optimistic. All right, now other stuff going on in the background is the sun in a conjunction with Chiron exactly. So even though I'm very happy about what's going on with the astrology, um, there still could be some lingering feelings from the past that uh, come up today that are hurtful to us. Um, and I think what we're really trying to do here is to kick those bad habits, to kick those hurtful things that are bringing us down, to come into new chapters with them and to move forward. And I think gradually this week, what you're going to find, especially when the sun moves into Aries on Wednesday, that the past is no longer an issue. And I think we're finally getting that picture. We're finally understanding. Maybe there's still some hurtful things that we have to deal with today that we still haven't dealt with. But I think we're figuring it out now. I think the, the worst is over and we're starting to move forward in a better way. All right. So that's what I see going on there. We also do have the sun coming into a square with Mars, even though it's not there today, bringing, I've said in all your weeklies, your weekly horoscopes are coming soon, said in all your weeklies, bringing lots of action, lots of motivation to do things. Even though we're coming into this now with the sun Mars, I feel like we're not gonna really feel it until Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We're gonna start to get lots of motivation to make things happen. So I see lots of forward momentum coming in, especially as we move throughout this week to finally drop the bonds of the past, to drop the hurt things and do some things that are better for us, feeling more free to move forward, even though it's gonna take a lot of effort or a lot of uh, consciousness <laughs> on our part to make sure the things that we're doing are um, aligning. All right, so that's going on there. We also do have Mars, just moved into Capricorn, love it. This is the best place Mars can be is in Capricorn because it does things, it manifests, it makes things happen and it does it without restriction. Mars loves being in Capricorn. So I think I'm telling you, major forward momentum, major, major chance to start to do things that uh, maybe we felt like were hard to do previously. All right, Mercury and Venus also in a conjunction. So still lots of thinking about relationships, about money, what you need there, okay? Starting to get insights on what needs to be done with Mercury and Venus making a trine to the North Node on what needs to be done to be happier with relationships and with money. Although with these two planets about to square Pluto later on, maybe some more changes we need to make about relationships and about money, but at least starting to understand better what it is that we need to do to make some of these changes. Um, all right, and to feel better. So that's also positive. And then of course, Mercury starting to go retrograde. It's not gonna go retrograde till this weekend. So we still got time, but I think right as we're starting to make progress, to move forward, to do things, Mercury retrograde saying, okay, good, do things, do things. But now I'm gonna make sure that they're right for you. Right as you're starting to do things, now I'm gonna make sure that they can last before you get too far down the road and realize that they're wrong. I'm gonna take care of all that right now. So you just know, are you doing this right? Are you not? And so you can start after this moment to feel like I've got this, I'm moving forward, it's it, it's working, I'm doing things right in a way that can actually yield the results that I want. And it's all starting, and I think gonna start to come together very soon so that we can start to feel better, I think, in May and start to feel like 
things aren't as crazy or chaotic. All right, so that's what I've got there. Now your card for the week, uh, the day, <laughs> the devil reversed. What this card is to me, loosening, loosening the bonds from the past, loosening the bonds to things, to habits that do not work anymore, that we do not like, getting rid of them, throwing them out. Think today is a good day. Start a new leaf, see things differently, cultivate new habits that are better for you to move in a different direction and to not let anything that's happened to you previously distract you from the vision of the future, which is better, which we are working towards, all right? So that's what I've got for you today. Thank you so much for watching my horoscope. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like it on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, sign up to my webinar, and I will talk to you later.